are two sisters with few fears and great ambition, ready to take on the world one ocean at a time. Hope you guys are all enjoying your day just as much as we just did. Yeah. As you can tell from the sunburn. <laughs> Our day was amazing. We had a beautiful sale today. Beautiful. But that's not why we're here. Nope. We're here because we have a new episode. Yep. A new one just for you guys. And we hope you guys enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So our time in Staniel was extended, mm -hmm. and we did wait out two blow-throughs. So we had a northerly come through, and then we had a westerly come through, and we moved one more time to get a little more protection from the west wind well, no coming mass. in. And we moved behind the grotto, and uh, kind of moved just in time for this wind to come through. Yeah, it was a lot of wind, a lot of rain, a lot of waves, but it didn't. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. We've been through worse. But before we moved, uh, I jumped in the water. Our anchor chain was stuck around a huge coral rock. Um, but I dove down and realized that there were some lionfish around it. So mm -hmm. Sasha gave me a full spear and I cleaned the reef a little bit. Also, just a little heads up. It was a windy, it is a windy episode and mm -hmm. we've gone through two mics now. Not sure why they keep breaking. So we apologize in advance for the windy noise. We tried our best to get rid of it. I uh, hope you guys are still able to enjoy. Oh yeah, it's a bit stuck. And uh, the anchor's caught on a rock. Natalie's going down to unstuck it. Maybe I should have brought it. So, Natalie went down to check the anchor. You know how it stuck, but there were eight lionfish down there, so she's gonna grab them first. Did my due diligence. What did you girl get? I got three, but uh, good size. Not bad. And I unhooked the anchor. Good stuff. Moving because there's going to be a really, really heavy east wind, so a lot of chop. So before the westerly came through, the mail boat came in. Luckily. Yeah, luckily. So we went to shore and stocked up on avocados and other veggies because everything was fresh. Grocery shopping. Yeah, we uh, heard the mail boat is in, so we're going in as well. 
Hopefully all the fresh stuff is still around. These Come on. Need to lose some of this energy. Yeah, they've been hey, keeping Come on. Come on. Let's go run. Let's go run. Let's see where they go. There they are. <laughs> they are very happy to be back on shore. Mailboat just came in. Wow. Avocados. Fresh everything. We want ooh, spinach. You want spinach? Yeah, and tortillas. We should have a whole bunch still now. So very, very interesting. Hey Nudley. Yeah. So we're currently in Staniel yeah. and we have a west wind westerly coming through. Yeah. It's going to be blowing about 30 to 35 miles per hour here in a few hours. We are currently anchored <laughs> off of the grotto. We have another boat here you can see right here. And then we have some friends that just came in and anchored behind us. We can't anchor back there. You have to watch but we're trying, we're gonna see how we fare here. We might go and pick up a mooring ball because um, the wind's gonna shift around from the west, northwest. So we'll we have wanna a, be a little comfortable. Yeah, so we'll be protected more by big major. Um, it's very interesting. We were anchored off of big major on the west side and just in one day, we there were like what, 40 boats? boats. Yeah. And then all of a sudden there were four of us. So everyone made a run for it between the majors, but luckily we held off moving between the majors because with a anything northeast, southeast, there's a cut, which we'll show you. There's a cut um, and it causes a lot of swell to come in. So it's very, very, very rocky. It wasn't an intentional hold off. We kind of yeah. like kept having engine trouble, kept meeting people. So we kind of like, Whoops, we thought we were the last ones and we'd get the last spot, but turns out we yeah. made the right decision. But also we have some slight PTSD from anchoring yeah. there last year. There's quite a washing machine effect between the currents and the wind and then with the swell coming mm -hmm. through the cut, I did not want to move there no. whatsoever. So, that, None of us so the hold off was slightly intentional. I'm glad we did because it is jam-packed in there. We've already talked to some people who had their anchor chains wrap up with some other boat. They had some boat damage. Mm -hmm. um, so it is quite a... Portholes cracked. Quite, quite a Solar show. panels ruined. Yeah, so no bueno. we are going to hold off and just try to... Um, try to hunker down here from this west wind behind the grotto. I think we'll have enough protection here. We have good holding. Great anchor. Thanks, Mantis Marine. And we're <laughs> can't close give you to guys, shore. Can't give you guys enough shout outs. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we're close to shore. So if we need to run in and power our computer for one, um, we can do anything. So yeah, so wish us luck. We <laughs> shall see how we fare through the evening when this wind starts to pick up. Yeah. And yeah, this is going to be fun. It's going to be so much fun. So oh, when we were anchoring, we kind of didn't realize how close we were no, to this boat. No, it's not a problem. It's not, we didn't realize how close it's with the current, same thing as last year. The currents here are just what, what somewhat of a washing machine. We're fine. That's yeah, how we've been for the last We've, we've been hours, coming so. close to each other, but there's no way we're going to hit. There's just um, swinging, a lot of swinging action here. We're still comfortable. We've got some fenders. We've been yeah. communicating, so we're all good, but. We're probably going to move a little bit. Are you guys putting out a second anchor? Yeah. What do you say? We got the wind. We got the waves. And now we got the rain. We're ready for you, Storm. Come at us. We're not scared. We'll take you with our Mantis Marine anchor. <laughs> So the wind is picking up a tad. A lot. Uh, we have two new neighbors out here. They didn't want to deal with the uh, between the majors craziness either. So they're hunkered down here behind the grotto. Uh, also have our German friends over there. We're a little further away from them, so better distance. But ooh, we're getting some direct wind right now through that cut. We're bouncing around, but you can't really tell from inside the boat, which is nice. These guys over here are definitely on a roller coaster ride. 
20 knots right now. We'll have 10 more knots of wind this evening or more. So yeah, this should be fun. Fun, fun. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Oh, just broke loose. So I just spent a few hours at the yacht club to charge our computer. It was a bit of an energy hog. So I made my way to shore. It's quite, uh, it's quite interesting. I'll show you here in a second why. I went to shore to the yacht club so we could charge our computer. We have two videos coming out this week, two for our patrons, one for the public. So I had a lot of work to do. Pretty bad here. Windy, windy, windy. Oh, yeah, I had to go around the back, back of the island to leave the dinghy. So now I have to walk like a mile. It's actually not as long as I thought it was. I kind of got a ride to the yacht club and now, now I'm walking to where it left the dinghy, go back to the boat, do a little bit more editing, kind of go from there. We did decide to throw out a second anchor. We had an extra a Bruce anchor, threw it out to uh, help us from swinging too much with the wind and just a little bit more stability. And just in case our mantis came free for which, whatever reason, which there was, n it was not gonna happen. It was very dumb. Yeah, uh, we just did it just for a little bit of peace of mind with a few days of west winds coming through that were fairly heavy. Mm -hmm. We, First step was to get out the extra anchor line that we have, the really thick rope. And then we got the Bruce out, put them together, went and threw it out. Uh, the Bruce, we have difficulty with it burying, so I did go down and set it. And after that, that anchor did not move. I actually had to go out down and pull it out too. Yeah. <laughs> After the storm ended and we prepared to leave Staniel, we had one last errand to run, which was to grab the PVC piping for our... <laughs> we were planning on leaving later that day, just had to go grab those before we headed off to the next destination. So we didn't have a chance to put them in, but man, do they make a difference. Mm -hmm. Although it wasn't as easy as no. we first thought. <laughs> which you will soon find out why. Found our sail bag battens. <laughs> These will go in the top so that it comes down easier. All right, so bring them to the boat. 20 foot PVC pipe. <laughs> One inch. We found them. 
Thank you, Stan Luki. <laughs> It was time for us to leave Staniel. We had a great time there, as always. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Staniel Key Yacht Club. Probably be back soon. Yeah. Pink Store, anyone that goes there, Pink Store, Blue Store is awesome. We love the ladies at the Pink Store. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, Staniel is always a great time. We had a great time, and it was difficult to leave, but it was time to move on. So we were off to the next destination. <laughs> for watching again thank you and uh, we hope you guys enjoy this episode as well make sure to click all of our links below even if you don't know what it's for <laughs> we have patreon we have links for gear t-shirts uh just links to our social medias and also links to our well every just yeah our everything houses. uh don't forget to subscribe you can subscribe down here in the corner or hit the subscribe button but yeah guys thanks for tuning in it's natalie and sasha from sailing, sailing the, the far side, side.